welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I feel a little gothic today because the eyeshadow palette that I'm practicing on or practicing with for my next 4 for 4 is a little darker than I normally go and I also like, well my hair is driving me nuts too, but and then the lipstick is for the next 30 and 30 and it's a little dark for me as well so I feel gothic. This is not my normal look for sure. Anyway, this is another edition of 30 and 30. I have tested out 30 lipsticks. These are all liquid lipsticks, by the way. Um, and so I'm going to talk about them, show you them. There's a lot that I'm decluttering in this one because as I've gone, I've kind of gotten to ones, either newer ones or ones that I just never reach for. And there's a reason for it. We're gonna start with this little guy. This is a sample size. This is Giorgio Armani, and this is the shade 206. And I think this is an interesting color. It's not my favorite color, but I don't hate it. And it's really moussey. It's a moussey formula. It doesn't really last super well, um, but I did enjoy it, and I'm definitely going to keep it around. All right, the next one is a Melted Matte. This is the shade Sugar Cookies by Too Faced. And I, while I really do like this formula, and I've had several of these, they do go bad really fast, a lot of them. It's just way too light, it washes me out. It's definitely like concealer lips. Did not look good, was not attractive. Um, and it was a little more sheer than the other ones that I found in this. Uh, formula so that one I will be I have a few friends who don't care if I've tested out the makeup so if if they want them then I'll hand them on if not they are going to be decluttered um, tossed away this next one is from Lime Crime this is the shade Red Rose and I like the other formula I like their metallic formula better than the regular one it's pretty it's a pretty color and it wears well, but it looks better worn in. When I first put this on, it did not look good at all. And as the day went on, it looked a little bit better, but I just, I don't love it. It's a little messy to apply. And it's just, it's not a color that I really gravitate towards. You can see that it's kind of sheer, that there's, that it's different shades in different places because it goes on a little patchy. It's fine, I just, I wouldn't recommend it either. All right. Next up is Material Girl by Huda Beauty. I love the Huda formula. It is it is another more liquidy formula, but they're really consistent in how opaque they are, which is really good. This is just not my shade. This is um, too dark um, for me. It's a good formula. This one was a little more patchy than the other ones. It doesn't show on the swatch though. I Maybe it was just having a bad day because sometimes that happens. But this is another one that I am passing along because it's just not a color I reach for and I don't need to keep things that I'm never gonna reach for at this point. All right, next up we have this Tarte guy. And I don't know what shade this is because they have leaked and at the bottom you can see that's kind of just a smudge. That is what has happened with most of these is they've just become a smudge and I can't read what shade they are. This one is really dried out and hard to apply. There we go, we finally got some there. But this one is actually going straight into the trash. I liked the color and I liked the formula. I like the moussey formula better than the more liquidy formula that they've done but that one is just not for me. Um, it's dried out. I don't wanna deal with a dried out formula at this point. All right, moving on to Model Zone. This brand, unfortunately, is no longer in business, which is a shame because every, pretty much everything that I've gotten from them, I have liked. This is their liquid metal lipsticks in Berry Steel, if you can find this like on eBay or Amazon or something, uh, you can find it on secondary market, I would recommend their products. I really like this color. It is a darker color, but it dries down really well and it doesn't move around. Like I'm finding the one I'm wearing today moves around. The Lime Crime kind of moved around. This one doesn't do that. Um, the It's easy to apply and it wears well. That's what I said. So this one is definitely one that I love. I wish I had more colors. I wish they had put out more colors in the first place, to be honest. 
Next up is phase zero. This is the shade Undercover. I got this in a recent Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I believe. And I really like the color. It's really pretty and it is, um, goes on really well. It's not a long lasting formula though. So it is one that you're gonna have to reapply throughout the day, but I didn't have any problem reapplying it. But I really just love that color. Like you can see which colors I more gravitate towards and which ones I'm not as, you know, not as much of a fan of. So that one's definitely one I'm keeping. All right, here's another tart that is getting tossed. This is the shade, it's a red shade. It's another one that I can't read what shade it is. And I said that I'm gonna to toss it and it's really messy. It doesn't, it didn't wanna set. Most of the other ones I've had want to set. This one did not. Um, and I said it moved around a lot. It's a pretty color though. I like that red, that's a pretty red, but like I said, it's just a mess and it's it's gonna get tossed because I'm not gonna pass along a rotten sh lipstick to a friend. Then we have another Lime Crime. This is the shade Teddy Bear. And this is one I just, I haven't decided on. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but that means I should probably pass it along. Don't you think? This doesn't last too well. The color looks okay on. I don't know. This is one I'm going to have like, I, you know what, I'm going to pass that one along too. I'm, I'm not going to reach for it, so why why keep it? I, somebody else would wear it. So, yep, that's one that's being passed along. Then we have this one, Urban Decay Trap Queen. I said um, sparkly flex, very drying, but nice color. I just didn't like this one on me as well as the uh, ones that don't have the sparkles in them. It looks really pretty though. I think this one a friend might really like, so I'm gonna pass this one along too, but that's what it's looking like. So if you're keeping track so far, these first 10, I am keeping three of them. I'm keeping the Armani, the Models Own, and the Phase Zero. The rest of them, the other seven, are all being decluttered. All right, moving on, we have this guy from NYX. This is the shade Sao, pa Sao Paulo. Oh my gosh, I should be able to pronounce that better. These I find I really have to go in and scrape around to get enough um, product to really apply to the lips or to apply as a swatch. I really like the color. It doesn't last. This is not a lasting formula at all, but I will be keeping this one because I do like the color quite a bit. This next one is on its last legs. Man, this is one. It's not going to be around much longer. This is lime crime in the shade vibe i love this shade it is a metallic shade but i find that even though it's metallic and kind of a purple this is a great everyday color like i wear this to work i wear this when i'm teaching i just love it it's one of my favorite it's one that i reach for all over and over and over again really like it then we have from nyx this is the shade madrid and that's what it looks like. I said, nice formula, but doesn't last, looks nice on. Um, and Vibe, I really, I found the formula not drying too, so that's a good thing to notice, to know. I'm gonna keep this one. It's not my favorite favorite, but I don't not like it either, and I do see myself reaching for it occasionally to wear. Then we have from Ciate London, this one, it's kind of worn away all of the stuff on the outside. This is the shade Pin Up. I'm running out of room. I'm trying to get five swatches across. And I said it's a bit dark, but pretty, and it goes on nicely. It's one that I do reach for and I do wear um, on a regular basis, so I will be keeping this one as well. It's, it's nice, I like it. Then we have an Ofra. Ofra liquid lipsticks are so good. I really, really like them. This is the shade Brickle, like brick with ELL, not like peanut, well, that's peanut brittle, never mind. Um, this goes on great, nice color, and wears all right. Wears pretty well. I This isn't my favorite from Ofra, but I do think it's fairly nice, and I don't hate it, that's for sure. Then we have Smashbox. This one I was sure I was gonna declutter, and then when I wore it, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to. This is 
Smashbox Petal Metal. I really love this formula. I even like the metallic formula. I love the matte formula. That's one that I wear all the time. I've already gone through a few of these. Well, maybe just one. I love the formula. It looks pretty on and it lasts well. Like I was not expecting this to look good on me, but it did and I really liked it. And it's definitely one that I'm keeping. Unfortunately, it was limited edition, but I think that they've kept it on as part of their collection. It just doesn't have the fancier packaging. Then we have this shade from Ofra. This is Daytona Beach. Like I said, I love this formula. I don't love this color. This came in an Ofra mystery box. And man, that is not a good color on me. I think this would look beautiful on some skin tones, but when you're super pale, that's just oh, not a good color. Um, the formula is solid, but the color looked atrocious. Basically, that's what happened. It just, it looked absolutely awful. I have one from Storybook Cosmetics. This is a metallic formula. Um, so I put pretty color, wears off weird. Not sure if I like. I, it ran into another thing. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna try this a few more times and see, like I like the color, it's really pretty, but I don't know if I really love the formula. And if you're case you're wondering what my notes look like, this is what they look like. I have a calendar and I write notes for each and every lipstick. So mm, I'm going to keep this one, but I need to practice wear it more because I've only worn it once. That's one of my newer ones. I just got it finally in January, like the end of January, it finally came because I had ordered it over Thanksgiving for Black Friday and it just, that they're really bad about shipping sometimes. All right, next up, this is one that leaks all the time, so that's why it's wrapped in a tissue because I didn't want it to leak everywhere. This is Texas Toast by Tarte. Um, I like the formula. Once again, it's that moussey formula. This one has not dried out like some of the other ones that I have. It's still nice and moussey and whipped. It's a little grayish. I'm going to pass it along, see if somebody else wants it because it's not really a shade that I gravitate towards. I just, I don't know. Grayish is not a great color for me. I, I, I look weird. Like today I'm not loving my look either, but mm, yeah, I'm going to pass it along. It feels really nice. Like I like this formula. I just wish they didn't leak all the time because every single one of them that I have has leaked. Dose of colors. This is the shade bittersweet. This was part of a holiday collection. And then they did make them permanent. And I, I, the third one I gave to my best friend and then I kept two of them. I kept the lighter two. This is bittersweet. It's more of an orangey red. I really like this. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulas, the Joseph Colors. Really, really nice formula. It goes on well. This one doesn't last as well as some of the other ones, but I really like it. So if we're keeping track now, not as many decluttered as the first round, but I am, let's see, keeping, 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 and keeping. So the first row I'm keeping them all, passing on this atrocious color on me, passing on Texas Toast. So two out of 10, pretty good. All right, my hand's a little pinker than usual. Maybe, it doesn't even show on the camera. I can see it here in person. All right, next up is one, what is going on with my hair? Uh, next up is one from Pretty Vulgar. This is the shade Particularly Sophisticated. This is not like your traditional liquid lip formula. This does not dry at all. This is more like a weird hybrid between a gloss um, and like it's a really pigmented gloss basically. I like the color, it feels all right, but it has absolutely no lasting power. So this one is one that just like a lip gloss, you're gonna be reapplying over and over and over again. I'm keeping it, but the formula is not my favorite. Then we have one from ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade Karina. And I love this color, oh my gosh. This color is totally me. This uh, stains lips a little bit and it lasts a really long time. It is a drying formula though. It's not my favorite formula because it does, it is so drying, 
but I love that color. It's so good. This is a formula that I have fallen in love with. This is the Bomb Jour Creamy Lip Stains from the Bomb. This is the shade Aloha. The other ones I have are Kinichiwa and, oh, what are the other ones? Namaste, maybe? I can't remember. This is like a wonderful peachy nude. Love it. And it does stain your lips a little bit. I just, I love this formula. Um, love the color, love the formula. It's like your lips, but better. Just, it's really great. So I really love Aloha. Would totally buy some more of those if I find them on sale again. Kat Von D, this is the shade K-Dub. This is kind of out of my comfort zone in terms of lip color, but man, do I love this one. This probably is my favorite color from all of the Kat Von D's that I have. Just, it's fun. It's like purple, but it's a wearable purple. It's not like crazy dark or anything. It's just fun and bright. Um, color is intense, but it lasts really well, and I, I just think it's pretty. I really like it. It's the one that I would recommend out of all of the ones that I have. All right, Stilla, this is the metallic formula. This is Fiore, and oh my gosh, I love this. I've worn this so much. It's starting to like be hard to get out of the tube, so this is another one that's not gonna last much longer. It's a beautiful red. I wear this a lot. Like This is like the perfect Valentine's shade, the perfect Christmas color. Just wear it a lot. Um, it's the one red that I always reach for, that I always feel comfortable in. Um, it's just really beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the metallicness of it. Maybe, yeah, just a little bit. It's just, it's a metallic, but not like an in-your-face metallic. I just, it's perfect. All right, now we have this one. This is spicy. Oh, this one, you can actually read the net, the color. I um, really like this color, like the formula, like I've said before. This one is not quite dried out, so I'm going to keep this and wear it a as much as I can before it's completely a goner. Oh my gosh, I thought I put my finger in it for a second. I just really like it, but like I said, the containers leak. I store them upright and they still leak. It's not like I have them lying around or in weird things. They are all in a container and they all stand upright and they still leak, which is super annoying. All right, Lady Balls by Too Faced. This is another Melted Matte formula. This one is the only, this is my oldest one, and it hasn't gone bad yet. The other ones have gone so rancid, like you can't even smell them. It just makes you want to vomit. The color is nice. It does transfer a bit, but it lasts really well. It is a darker red, and I'm keeping it. It's, it's one that I will reach for occasionally. We're almost done, we got three more. We have this next one. This is Sasha by Lime Crime. This is one that I didn't think I was going to like because it's more of one of those brownie shades that just don't gravitate towards. But I do like this one. It does not transfer, which is amazing. And the color looks good on. It is a little messy and hard to apply, which is what I found with the like matte versus the metallic versions of Lime Crime. But it is one that I'm keeping. All right, now we have this one from Tarte. I have no idea what the shade name is, which is super frustrating, but this one is still really creamy and moussey. It's it's a pretty dark color. Um, it's pretty dark, like it's almost the shade that I'm wearing right now. So it's not one I reach for a ton, but I'm gonna get a little bit more use out of it before I toss it. And I wish I knew what the color was. Like, I'm sorry that some of them, I don't know what the colors are anymore. Last one, this is Smashbox. This is the shade Stepping Out. And I, the Always On liquid lipsticks are one of my favorites, like I said. I was excited to get a sample of it till I put this on and it's like a poopy brown. It's not a good color for me. Like I said, I love the formula. Don't love this color. So I will be passing that one along. So of this 10, not, not getting rid of any but just that one. All in all, I am getting rid of 10 lipsticks. I am tossing the two tarts that are dried out and or like just super messy and gross. And then I have eight that I am passing along. So that's the Texas Toast. I wrapped it back up. Ofra, Daytona Beach, Lime Crime, Teddy Bear, Urban Decay, Trap Queen, Lime Crime, 
Red Rose, Too Faced Sugar Cookie, Huda Material Girl, and Steppin' Out by Smashbox. So I decluttered a third, which is actually really good for me. Like I don't usually declutter that many. I'm hoping to see how many I declutter this next go around. I'm making some decisions on lipsticks kind of as we go. I can't wait to film that one. Let me know if you've tried any of these colors, any of these formulas, which ones you like, which ones you don't like, and what your thoughts and opinions are on the 30 and 30. Are you sick of seeing it? Do you wanna see more? Let me know down below, and I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. Bye.